Peggy 16. So Extinction is a true skill-based combat game on a massive scale. So you play as this character, Aveel. Aveel is the last of the Sentinels, a, a new trainee inducted into this ancient order that has been dedicated to preserving the legend of these monsters and the techniques and strategies that are needed to fight against them. Reveni are these huge ogres, 150 foot tall monstrosities coming to destroy your friends, your family, your towns and Avila is the only person equipped to take him down. The Sentinel Order has really degraded over the years. There's not much of it left at this point. And at the time that the campaign begins, Avila is actually the only member of the Order that's still around. Over the course of this monster campaign, you get to learn more about the world, more about the people, why the Reveni are doing what they're doing, and uh, save as much of humanity as you can in the process. So the world of Extinction is a place that has always been at war with itself. It's chaotic and filled with feuds, and humanity has been fighting back and forth for centuries. As far back as anyone could remember, mankind had been at war with itself. And into the midst of this, a giant portal opens up through which these monsters begin coming that then start crushing people. And these are sort of the horrors of the times past. Now, this is a threat that was spoken of in children's fairy tales. You can definitely expect some surprising twists and turns. Not everything is necessarily as it seems. I don't want to go too deep into it to give away too much, but there's definitely some stuff in there that the uh, story enthusiasts out there will be excited to see. Iron Galaxy, we're kind of known for fighting games, we're known for really tight action, and we want to bring that to something of this scale, which we, I don't think has really been done before. Combat and Extinction has uh, a lot of high-level skill execution mechanics, right? We have uh, a lot of timing-specific attacks, we have a lot of cancel windows. When you're going from one attack to another, that's basically what we consider an, an attack cancel. In a lot of action games, you would see one attack go into another attack, and it's a very basic formula. Here, we can kind of cancel into almost any attack that we want. Standard single strike, ground attacks for a single target, sweep AOE attacks, he's got knockups, he's got air combos, he's got knockdowns when he's in the air. You can also latch on the flying enemies with your whip, pull yourself towards them. So it's that freedom to be able to kind of expand the combat in a variety of different paths. The only known way of killing a Raveni is by using a magical rune strike, which only a veal can do. So he has to charge up power in order to execute that kill strike. Saving people that you find in the countryside, killing the minions, dismembering the Raveni themselves, destroying their armor, or completing mission objectives are all things that build up your rune energy. And once it's full, you can go in for that decapitation strike. So all told, there are thousands of possible combinations of Raveni, their attacks that they like to use, and the types of armor loadouts that they have. Uh, all of the options that Avil has when he's climbing trees and walls and traversing through cities, he has all those options when he's climbing the ogre as well. And once you get to the top of the ogre, it's, you can just sit up there and wait for your perfect moment. You're under constant attack from flying minions who have projectile attacks they can spit at you. The ogre doesn't want you up there it's flailing about trying to shake you off, right? Might have armor up there you have to dispatch first. The armor might be armor that can hurt you. You also have to juggle a whole bunch of competing objectives. Your primary mission goal might be to escort someone to a particular place or rescue a particular person. Which of these things do you prioritize? So remember, civilians are dying, the town's getting destroyed, a bunch of bad stuff is happening, so you gotta hurry. Extinction is coming out on PlayStation 4, and we here at Iron Galaxy are excited for you to check out the biggest game we've ever made. For the players.